And while we honor veterans and their sacrifices today, there are still struggles they face after serving their country. Oran Spitzer spoke with a few experts and she now joins us in studio to tell us what they had to say. Oran. Many veterans around the country are struggling with mental health and local experts say more action is needed. Mental health is probably the biggest problem in the veterans community and it's a place that our federal government continues to come up short. That's Joe Shinelli, the National Executive Director of American Veterans, a congressionally chartered veteran services organization. He says there is still a problem getting access to care. Part of the reason is the lack of resources, but also acknowledgement. For the past decade or two, we've really come to recognize the problem. Um, before that, it wasn't really recognized as a, a significant issue. Nick Stefanovic, director of Monroe County Veteran Services, tells me the VA is finding value with methods like experimental treatments and trials with the use of MDMA, psilocybin, and marijuana in the treatment of veterans with mental health struggles. The VA has more traditional types of mental health care. At the county, we've taken a different approach. I think the trick to it is to get non-traditional. Shinelli says that a lot of community organizations are well equipped for getting assistance for the unhoused, but are lacking immediate resources for veterans struggling with suicidal or homicidal thoughts. Our veterans make a lot of sacrifices um, and all they ask in return is that uh, the government keeps its promises to provide health care for um, injuries and diseases, uh, illnesses that may have incurred because of their service to this country. In 2020, there were 6,146 veteran suicides, according to the National Veteran Suicide Prevention Annual Report. 2021 numbers are expected to come out next week. If you are someone you know struggling, you can call 988 to seek help. In studio, Aran Spitzer, News 8.